Hi, it's time to put my clothes away. I hope this works out. I have been pondering over the past few years, but especially in the past week, the fact that the way we are brought up in our lives, the environment that we're brought up in, affects us so much in the way that we think and the way that we perceive the world. So I'm trying more and more to understand my own responses to situations, my own thoughts, and how that came from, in my case, Catholicism. One thing that is something that I, I see so frequently in my, my own life and my emotional responses is the, the idea of codependency that was based upon what I'm thinking is of Catholic guilt. And I never really understood exactly what it was because it was my life and it was something that I believed in. I didn't want to see it in a negative way because it was my system. It was the system of how I, I dealt with the world and how I coped with different situations that I was put in. I hope this isn't a bad angle. You see my, my double chin. Guilt in, in Catholicism came from the the conscience and your conscience is formed by your education by your your spirituality the more you understand what religion requires of you what catholicism requires of you the more you're able to see where in your own actions you fall short as a catholic i was taught that humanity because of adam and eve is flawed, that we have an imbalance, that, that we're wounded. They actually use the word wounded in our nature and that we need God and his grace in order to reorder ourselves to the supernatural. Very complicated and also something that they refer to as a mystery. So uh, good luck trying to understand it all. Practically speaking, what, did, what does that mean to a Catholic? It means that there's a dependency on God in order to remain in line. That alone, we can't do the right thing or we can't expect ourselves to figure things out and, and interpret our, our desires and our wants in the correct way. I never trusted myself. I always considered that anything that I desired or that I wanted was something that God didn't want. And I tried to conform my wants to, to what I was told was my purpose and the direction of, of my life and every Christian's life. And guilt, good old guilt. So when you fail in reaching that expectation, then your conscience gives you a little pang and you feel guilty. And that pang is, I was told, was a way for you to realize where you're wrong and that you need to go back to realign yourself with God. And the way of doing that was to go to confession. It was this vicious circle, really. So you're in, so you have a connection with God and you, you're okay, and then you do something wrong, and you feel guilty, and then that guilt basically eats you alive, and you have to go to confession, which the only way to do that is through the church, and to go to a priest, and then afterwards you're back in line with God, and everything's okay. You're basically taught from a child to, in order to alleviate that feeling of guilt, you have to go to the priest and it creates this dependency on the church. If you're a sinner and we're told over and over again that we are sinners, we will always be sinners, we will always sin, we'll always need confession. 
And if you're, if you realize that, then you're always going to need to go back to the church, to God, but the church to confession in order to not have that feeling of guilt. So I actually found, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description of the video, but I, I found a, a pretty good definition of codependency. Codependency is characterized by a person belonging to a dysfunctional, one-sided relationship where one person relies on the other for meeting nearly all their emotional and self-esteem needs. Which is interesting because if you really believe in religion and God and that the most important thing is following God's will and wanting to get to heaven, then that really becomes the emphasis of your life. Everything in your life revolves around that fact and nothing else is more important than that. I, I did try to live like that. I tried to put God in the center and my destiny in the center. So if I sinned and, and felt guilty, then it really disrupted not only that part of my life, but it affected every single aspect of my life. Nothing would ever change how I felt. I definitely went to confession once a week. That was a given. Sometimes twice, sometimes three times, because if that was the only way to, to make sure that I was in line with God, then of course I'm going to do it as much as I possibly can. And it wasn't just for, for small things either. It wasn't just a, um, what the Catholics call venial sins, just minor sins. It were things that I knew for a fact were, were, were important enough that I, I did have to go to confession. And the quote continues. It's, it's pretty interesting, actually. Do you expend all of your energy in meeting your partner's needs? Do you feel trapped in your relationship? Are you the one who is constantly making sacrifices in your relationship? Then you may be in a codependent relationship. And I know that it's not common to, to think of a relationship as between a person and a organization, uh, a religious organization. It does create a one-sided type of relationship where you are always less than, you will never equal what the expectation is, you will never reach the ideal, although that is where you should be, and there's this need to always go back to that organization in order to, to, to feel better about yourself and to receive the, the help that you need. It creates this codependency that in in the practical in practical life it's it doesn't help anybody because if you are not able to to do things on your own if you're not able to believe that you're capable on your own then you're always going to have that negative perspective on yourself and you're always going to be less than and that's not a healthy relationship that's a toxic relationship and of course being in that type of environment I never thought that I was doing enough nothing that I did was sufficient and mind you I'm somebody that did I tried to go the full way that was possible I tried to dedicate my entire life to God and to the church to and I became a priest I tried to show as much as possible that I was that I wanted to be that ideal version of myself that was presented to me by religion that I wasn't capable of being and of course I never trusted my own thoughts my own judgments on things on, on bigger issues, on the smaller ones, I, I was, I think my formation was pretty good that I was able to, to know, maybe it was just by habit that I knew what was going to be said to me, the expectation. But for, for, for bigger things, I was never, I always thought that there was something that I wasn't seeing, that 
I just needed someone to open my eyes more because I, I wasn't judging the situation correctly. One of the biggest reasons why I, I didn't trust myself was because I knew that it does really go back to, to my same-sex attraction. I knew that just looking at that example that, of course, if I want a man or if I, if I like men, then how can I trust any judgment that I have? If that's the type of thought that I'm having, which is against nature, then how could I expect to trust any of the, the instinctual ideas that I was having? So I always went back to the priest. I always tried to ask their opinion on what I needed to do. So I was creating even more of a codependency on, on the priests. And of course, in their position, I'm not saying every priest is like this, but the priest, especially some influential priests that were in my life, they definitely created this environment of, I know so much more than you. And you are just this insignificant, unintelligent person that of course you need to come to me. Of course. And they, I'm thinking of one priest in particular, he would laugh at me or he would get angry at me for some of the things that I, I said or I did. And it's like, well, what do you expect? I'm not perfect. But it created this like, like, oh, I don't want to do the wrong thing. I Like walking on eggshells and wanting to please the priest. And... And so all of these things were, were going on at the same time. I was trying to please my parents. I was trying to please the priests. I was trying to please God and just constantly giving and giving and giving. And of course, I'm not perfect because I'm human. In the end, what happened? It was just me looking at myself in the mirror being who, saying, who the heck are you? I looked at myself in the mirror and I didn't know how I got to that point. It's hard to put laundry away with one hand, but I'm doing it for you. And of course, many are going to say that I was given a bad formation, that I didn't, I didn't have the, the correct idea of religion, which is fine. Maybe religion works great for you and, and you're okay with it. I'm only here talking about my experience and I, I appreciate to hear everyone else's experiences and their ideas on the subject, but these are the thoughts of the life of Francis and not the life of anyone else. I need both of my hands now. So I'm going to finish putting my laundry away, and I hope everyone has an amazing week. And please, please subscribe, like the video, share the video to people that that you know that might be interested and I hope to see you in the next time I I'm trying to to put out as many v videos as possible I have millions of ideas and if you have any ideas you can always put it in the comments below or message me on Instagram Twitter on Facebook and I'll try to incorporate your suggestions in my next videos goodbye Did I scare you? <laughs>